<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another mukbang. What's up everybody? What's up guys? <laughs> so uncomfortable today. All right, today is the day that I'm going to share you my uh, North Tanku's chicken salad recipe, spicy chicken salad recipe. So for that, today I'm going to use whole chicken already cut up. Mm. This is from our um, in-laws, his parents, friends from the mountain. Not a running chicken, but organic chicken. Yeah? Yeah. And we have here some Thai chilies. We're going to roast this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use ginger, garlic, lemongrass. Now, to make a typical uh, tanku, the North Tanku chicken recipe, you need uh, what's that called? El Shotsia? We call it Yomba. In Maitelon, they call it Lomba, I think. But I don't have it. It has a similar smell with uh, lemongrass, so I'm gonna use this in the chutney as well as while boiling this one. If you have that one, and if you have, uh, there's one more. It's called, the other day I was talking about it, Chomri. Like, we call it Naga Lasun. Chinese, Japanese, leeks. That's what they call also, I think. If you have that one, and if you have the Lomba or Yongba, you don't need to use garlic. Because garlic can be very heavy, yeah? Yes. And we're going to use uh, these things. Spring onions. Spring onion also, since we don't have it, yeah? And chayote boiled. I've already made salad for you, honey. Oh, okay. This ah. is cucumber just to add on. Yeah, because there is only one piece he's going to eat. It's the chicken breast. Well, that's so, you know. Okay? Let's start cooking. Very excited. Let's go. So, we are going to boil the chicken first. It's a lot of chicken. I wish there is somebody who can eat with me. <coughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, nobody. Okay, some lemongrass and ginger garlic. Some water. We're gonna boil this for about 40 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to make our chutney also. Okay, so I'm roasting the chilies here. The best way, the best flavor you can get is um, roasting the chilies on a hot ash. That's the best. And over here, by the way, I didn't show you guys, I forgot, but I already add uh, salt in here. The chicken. And this one is a side dish for my husband because he's not gonna eat a lot of chicken. Now we're gonna crush the chilies. I'm not gonna make it too spicy because of my husband. Now ginger, garlic, and a little bit of lemongrass. Not to forget some salt too. Now we're gonna mash all these things up. Chicken is done. Let's transfer it to an empty bowl. Not the soup, just the chicken pieces. This is what my husband will eat. That's the only thing he's going to eat. And one more here. The rest is all for me, guys. chayote in here. Let's transfer our chilies. A little bit of broth. Now we're gonna mix this all up and add some spring onion. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. My back hurts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll start with that one. <laughs> oh my golly oh. gosh. Okay, so excited today. Hmm. Oh my gosh, your mouth. 
my typical menu, you guys. This is what I grew up eating. Not all the recipes are like authentic, but what can I do? Like I explained in the beginning, in the beginning, I have to use this, uh, what do you call this, honey? Spring onion instead of shomri, naga lasun, because that's all we have here. We don't have it. And uh, I have to use the lemongrass because of the yongba. El shodzia. Guys, please try this out. This recipe is really good. The spicier, the better. And uh, here, salad for what's that? <laughs> and here, side dish potato for him too, just in case. Mm -hmm. And boil squash. Squash. Some are still boiling because <clears throat> we want it more cooked. Mm. And we are gonna drink this soup just like this. Mm. The other day, I, I will I boil some veggies in here, but because of the lemongrass, I don't wanna boil chayote in here. Mm. Is that right now? Right, cheers. In the eyes. Mm. <laughs> it's a Serbian thing. With alcohol only. When you cheers, you have to look in the eye. Mm. So if you visit Serbia, don't forget. Mm. Hey, hey, mm. hey! Down! Do you want me to serve this, honey? Yeah. Uh, salad is not mixed up yet, so... No worries, I'll, I'll, I'll eat it like this because I love it. Okay. Mm. Here you go. Okay, so we record our videos, pre-record our videos, guys. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody's asking me about the, my experience in South Korea. I'm going <laughs> to tell you today. <laughs> Let me just fill out my boat a little bit, okay? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bon appétit, guys. Can I give you a skin, baby? Mm -hmm. Or not? There's a bit more, I'll give you later. Mm. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> already. It's hard for me. Understand me. Support me. They love mm. to see you eat salad, so <laughs> I have to always put salad in the cooking. She mm. recipe she tried to walk off. Eh. Let's Yongba. try this famous chicken, baby. Yongba, how pretty, how good you Mmm, that is good. Mm? It tastes good, spicy. Mmm. <coughs> of it's course. not like my grandmother. Mmm. Mmm. Potato, baby. Mm. 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 I want to share it with the neighbors, but this is too spicy for Mina, and her fiance doesn't seem like him. Mm. Doesn't like to eat anything that doesn't look nice. Mm -hmm. And the other lady downstairs, the last time I gave her my chicken, grandma chicken, she said it's too spicy, yeah? Mm. What she exactly she said? I don't remember exactly. It was a long time ago. Mm. She said something like you don't have to make it too spicy. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm. So mm. I don't want to give any more. Well, something else probably. She just ate two very big bones, so she's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about her. And even if she's not okay, she has. No belly. <laughs> she 
she gets okay very fast. Mm. How are you? I love it, baby. Who oh, I want to share with this one? That guy. Mm -hmm. oh. The Nagaland guy. What's his name? Ken's vlog. Yeah. Mm, yeah, the guy looks like he can eat. Because I think he's very hard working man. Mm, there are always oh. healthy appetite with working people. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm telling you, run away from the cities, run away. Mm. There's one Tango guy, Golden Vashim. Vashim. Ah. Request me to do this long time. Mm. Never get the chance to do it. Mm. 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 Yeah, I'm shaking. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I'm, after eating this, I'm going to sleep in the paddy field mm. with the frogs. We can arrange that. Can you imagine you're sleeping out right, right now outside? In a hut, honey. Mm. But no. for real. Mm. Honey, for I mean, real. I mean, here, baby. Oh, somebody's getting comfortable. I'm telling you for real, if there is <coughs> paddy field, I will go. Mm. But there is only paddy field in Macedonia, baby. Everything else is the rice that you saw. The paddy field is like very beautiful um, place to play. Yeah, especially when the rice are growing. It's just beautiful, green. Mm. But also the wheat. Here they have the same houses in the fields. Yeah? Mm, we call it salash. It's different. It is different. But because the the land is too big, they just live there or the the workers just live in that we call it uh Mm. The one thing that you need to know about my country is that this region here, Vojvodina, is flat and it's full of full, full, full of wheat. So it's like a sea. You know, when the wind blows. Mm. By the way, guys, it was minus this morning, yeah? Mm. Tomorrow also. Mm. Mm. That's the March. It's March. Yeah, sometimes March becomes very hot. And then... It's better it's like this, you know, then it means that it's not going to go later, it's not going to be cold. Sometimes this cold wave comes in May, baby. Oh, no. Yeah, you just planted everything, everything starts growing and then two days of minus. And you're, you die. Oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. Perfect weather in the north is, I think, Imphal, mm. Timapur. Mm. Mm. You guys say it's cold, it's cold. It's not cold there. Where? In fact, in yeah, yeah, hey, in the January, the February, the show hung up, yam, there you go. She's a little lower, she's there. 
Everything. Dead. Oh. Bone? Yeah, yeah. Am I leaking again from my nose? It might be. Let me see. No. I ate so fast today. Oh! <laughs> Are you struggling? I'm not. This potato needs to be cooked a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can talk now. Hey, hi, how are you guys? <sighs> she can engage in conversation. Mm. Beautiful salad, by the way. I need to have it. I mean, I'm on the Everybody's like, oh. The way I may eat salad is so satisfying. Mm. <coughs> uh -huh. mm. Mm. You eat everything in Chota, yeah? Yeah. The Nagaland guy is Ken's vlog. Ken's vlog. You mm -hmm. told him a while before. Mm. Good. So good the way he eat. How much I wish he can eat this. Mm. But mm. they work hard, you know? Mm. One more. Mm. 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 Sorry, sorry. He's not drinking soup, is it? He's not used to drinking soup and eating at the same time. Mm. Here we first drink soup. Mm. Then we. Whoa. Be nice, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, story time. Mm. Korean story time. Korea. Uh huh. We were just stopping there. For a couple of hours, we've been to Busan and Jeju. And one incident is in Busan, or everything is in Busan, I don't remember. Mm. That was my first time going out with him. Mm. Because everybody's like, oh, Korea, Korea. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's so special? Mm -hmm. So, it's Busan. There's an underground shopping mall. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, not, uh, excuse me, not expensive shopping mall, but like, how do I call it? There is a place like that in Dili also, underground shopping place. Mm -hmm. and so we went there, and uh, for me, that was the first time in Asia, so I didn't know the currency of uh, Korea, how much, you know. Mm. We went to one store because I love cardigan. So we went to buy cardigan. And the mm. First, the beninging was <laughs> the taxi driver was so rude. Remember? He was which very I'm, rude. Which I'm used to here. <laughs> he was very rude. Mm. I was so surprised, you know. I like, felt like it's home. <laughs> like, without reason. Maybe he was having a bad day. Mm, Seems like everybody was having a bad day there. Mm. And then we went to this lady shop and she was very upset too. Mm. And she sold me the two cardigan. I wear a lot of cardigan and I bought a lot in the United States too. So I know the, the quality, you know? It should be around 15, 20 bucks. Mm. And she was like, she charged me $150. Really? For two. Mm. At that time, I didn't know the money exchange, you know? Like, how much mm. is it in Korean? Mm. Won. Is that how they say? Won? Won. Won. Their money? Uh-huh. So, 
But I was like, I love it so much and I want to buy something from Korea because everybody is at like, Korea, Korea. Mm. Right? We bought that one and then we went to another store again. Lady, very angry <laughs> to buy one scarf. She was so angry, like, uh, why are you here in my shop? Kind of angry. Sometimes the Chinese over here give me that kind of attitude too. Like, mm. You look like me, why don't you speak my language? No. That kind of looks, in my opinion. Yeah. You know? And so, so she was so upset, so upset. I don't know why. No, what the scarf still. Maybe language barrier or I don't know. But that's a tourist place. It's tourist mm. place, right? It has mm. Jamie Oliver's restaurant also. Maybe they are fed up of tourists. Maybe. Maybe they thought we're cheap. Mm. I don't know. Mm. And then back on the boat, I have 12 people on my table in the dinner time, yeah? All Korean. They said he is a movie star. I don't watch Korean movies, so I don't know who he is that. Dinner time, he was wearing these dark glasses. Mm. 12 of them. Oh my gosh, screaming my name, like the menu is free, you know, and the food portion is like this big. It's really big, right? The food on the ship. Mm -hmm. Prime rib, steaks, pastas, they're all very big. Some, yeah, you can order too, but you can order whatever you want from the menu, it's all free. They were like just screaming, screaming, no table manners. The table was a disaster. They didn't eat everything. They would order one and then they're like, ah, I don't want this. Even if I'm serving the other guests, they will scream, shout my name. And I said, please don't scream my name. I'll come there and I'll take care of you. No, nope. not happening. Mm -hmm. All my colleagues were laughing at me, like, poor you, you're mm. dead. So yeah, that was my experience in South Korea. Not a good one, right? Mm. I haven't come across anybody yet, like, like the one we saw on the TV. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm. Those movie star people were also, oh my gosh, no no manner at all, whatsoever. That would be good if you can recognize them. But I, I have no idea. No, no, I don't know. But if we would know who they are, I would like to see who, just, who it is. It would be so interesting to see how they behave in public and how they behave in free time. Yeah. Having said that, guys, that doesn't mean... Uh, I hate South Korea and I will never go there. No, no it's, just it's not like the yeah? experience that I had, you know? And Everybody has their own experience, but you should not go around and say like, Oh, I had a bad experience in India, so I hate India. Everybody is bad. No, it's not like that. Some people try to make money out of those kind of clickbait, you know? On YouTube channel. Mm. Not fair. Mm. But... For example, mm. if you ask me which destination you want to go next one, Korea will, South Korea will not come to my mind. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. I had only good experiences in Korea, but I'm a tall, handsome guy, so you know, it's different. It's, my world is different. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Especially in China. Especially in China. Hi to my friends from China. Ni hao. And uh, hi to my friends from Korea. What's the name? What's the word? No idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, well, I forgot that. It was long time ago. I love language, you know, mm. but no idea anything in Korean. Mm. Oh, but the Japanese were like... I don't know how they are behind closed doors. Yeah, but publicly they are. So polite to each other. Maybe uh, too much, yeah? Manner, oh, too much. 
all the time. Yeah, yeah. Culture, culture things, you see? Couple of Table manner, of, excellent. Couple of thousands of kilometers, different borders, different people. Same people, but different borders. But you see, remember the service we get in Japan? Okay. Which one? In the stores, in yeah. the restaurant, oh, in yeah, the stores. They always have time. The young, young, like young girls, I think they're on holiday, part-time job. Even if you bother them a lot and not buying anything, they were like, Thank you so much! <laughs> Thanks so much for coming! <laughs> like that, you know? Yeah. So share your experience also, guys, mm -hmm. wherever you go, anywhere in the world. Mm. And ask us questions also, just to get to know us better. You know, Besides our Q&A, like small, small things, we since, can just interact, you know? Since we are sitting at the same table, so... Yeah. <laughs> finish it, baby. Yeah, finish here. Well, I thank you for joining us and... Um, like, subscribe, share, comment down below, check down the links, uh, check down the links, yeah. Check the yeah. links check down. Check the links down. My dyslexia kicked in, which I don't have. And uh, I hope you like this because I did love the meat. I just have the thing with the meat and rice. <laughs> it reminds me of my Finish mother's... Finish the soup. Of my mother's, um, what's it called? Pilaf, which I didn't like. Sorry, mom, but I'm speaking in English, so she doesn't understand. But thank you for watching, and um, it's very well. It's just <laughs> join us for our next video, and uh, see you next time. Huh? That's it, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh, so big boy's birthday is coming up. So, so long now. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna make special it's a, it's Korean a, food again.